Logic again. I actually do have a list video for you guys today, but maybe I'll edit onto it later night or later tonight. But like, I'm just feeling so nostalgic again. Nineteen eighty nine, Sarah. Next week. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go, bitch. Yeah, but it's just like time goes so fast. Like. too fast. I wanted to slow down. <laughs> so I just look at where I just look at where all my you know, like brother's friends are now. How they just like grow apart. And same thing happened with me but I really only just like one person around here. You know and one friend. I mean I like really two or three people but it's like everyone grew up. It's like everyone's like, not grown, because I don't think anyone's ever fully grown, but they're not kids anymore, you know? And it's, it's so weird to think about, because I knew miss kids, you know? And now it's like, everyone goes through their own stories, everyone does their own thing. And I, don't, and I know if like, I'm out, I've been in high school, like that's just what everyone does, and that's what happens. But actually thinking it through, and you know, growing up with them, it's so weird and nostalgic. Because everyone just does their own thing now. And, you know, my brother just graduated. Or his last two, his last day of school was technically Friday. Um, and he posted his graduation picture as one of our old neighbors. Who also still lives next door to us. They commented, you know, like, congrats, man. You know, and it's... It's like, wow. And they were walking their dog. Well, one of the kids were, and then I saw the other one talking to their girlfriend I think and it's like time flies and I don't think we realize it until we get older and I don't think we appreciate being a kid until we're an adult or until like we're older you know and we don't we take it for granted we take how fast time goes for granted we take you know the long talks or you know the summer nights we all take that for granted and today especially just feels so nostalgic and I love the feeling I, today I felt this is the first time I felt like this in a while, and it feels so good. I love feeling nostalgic so much. And everyone just moves on, you know? It's just life. You have to, you know? And it's... I don't know. I just think of where everyone was 10 years ago. And Ellie used to talk. Like, I literally remember one of our neighbors got their first dog, you know? Or their dog they have now. I mean, I remember the old one, too. But I remember, like, when they literally got their dog on 9-11. You know, I remember that. Like, maybe, I think it was 2014 they got it. September 11, 2014. That was, what, almost seven years ago? At the end of this year, I think it'll be seven years since that. Like, where the fuck does time go? I don't know. But I <clears throat> I think about it more and more. And if I could go back to 2016, I think I would. But I would think I would go back to be, being a kid again, too. You know? Um, I really would. Because I had a pretty good childhood. Really did. And I miss my brothers living at home. I miss that. I don't know. My parents are on a walk and my other brother isn't home, but it's just like, at least I think that's where they want. I don't know, my mom, I think she acted in the bathroom where I was with everybody in here. But I don't know. Just if you're young, Enjoy your enjoy your childhood now because it goes so fucking fast, and I like literally remember watching specific him on It's like I remember walking up the stairs, and like I was walking up like the Miley says goodbye, like end of season three I think it was, like I remember the trailer or like I remember the Good Luck Charlie premiere like before it even like aired like the very first. I remember it's just like I grew up with Disney, you know I grew up with Nickelodeon, like Harley Victorious. I had a pretty damn good childhood and a pretty damn good family. And really, I mean, I have no friends, but I mean, I have like two, but that's by choice. Some of it is, but some of it's not, but it's what it is. Um, and I don't know, like never in a million years did I ever think I'd be looking for, I'm literally a flat male. Like I didn't think I'd be looking for love all these years later. 
I didn't think I would, like, have anyone, you know, like, sitting with it otherwise. I thought I would have by now. Well, not really. I mean, I love my own company. I love being by myself. Like, I always say, I do. I really, really do. But I'm getting older, and I would love to spend my last my life with someone. I mean, if not, like... I'm just going to have to do it by my damn self. I mean, I've always done that, you know, I've no one outside of my family has ever, like, funded me or bought me anything in life, like, ever, you know, I've never had, like, friends, like, by anything, I've never had a guy from buy me anything, I've never, ever had that, you know, I've always paid for myself, or I just didn't get it at all, you know? So I know the value of a dollar, like, growing, like, you know, like, now I actually do, like, making my own money from reselling on the side, like, I get the value of a dollar now, you know, and I get how much you're out of money, you're out of money, you know, and I get sometimes you spend, sometimes you to save. I'm personally a really, really big spender and I need to work on that, obviously. No, I don't. It's not going to get what the fuck I want. I don't know. There's two sides to the coin. It's like a double-edged sword. But I don't know. This is like more of a calm list video. I don't know. Maybe later on I'll like be fucking annoying and bitchy, but it's just like time goes so fast. Really does. Like even the Taylor concert. I still have my lighter bracelet from the Reputation Tour. That'd be three years ago in August, excuse me, since I saw her last. And I think, like, never, like, five years ago, did we ever think we'd have a pandemic and the world would be still be on lockdown? Everyone would be depressed or anxious or upset or losing people? Hold your hand through plastic now. Zaki, I think she's crushing now. And some things you just can't speak about. So, like, Taylor related to that pandemic, but I think anyone can really relate to that song, Pandemic or Not, or Health Worker or Not. Just can't speak about. Like, wow. This song is even so nostalgic, you know? For the past, even the present, and sometimes even the future. Oh, here's my part. Here's my favorite part. Only 20 minutes to sleep, but you dream of some epiphany. Just one single glimpse of the leaf To make some sense of what you see Like, what a masterpiece. I love Epiphany so much, I really do. I don't know, y'all, like, never two years ago I didn't think I'd be a flop, have little to no friends at all. I just remember, I just remember when I was popping, you know, I miss that. I miss Uvo, I miss Flurry, I miss everyone I used to talk to back then, and now everyone just went their own way, you know, and we grew apart, or they just blocked me, or whatever, you know, and it's sad to think about it, it really is. I used to be, like, on top in my world. I used to have so much friends, I used to have so much interactions, and now I have, like, two friends. <laughs> And, I don't know. Like, I love my own company, guys. Like, but sometimes it'd be nice to have more, you know? I don't want to have, like, overall. I don't want to have a lot of friends, but I want to have a couple more. But, specifically guy friends, but, I don't know. Because I don't really have any guy friends. I did in high school, even though I had, like, one... I don't know. Just life's hard right now. Then again, it's not. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I just need to be alone in my own mis misery. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. I don't like telling people to do it. I don't think you should tell people to do it. I just can't conform to anyone or anything. Um... But yeah, 
I don't know, y'all. Sorry, I know it's like a lot of moments of silence, but just I'm feeling so nostalgic right now and I want to take it in. So. I don't know. It's like I just wish I could slow time down just a bit and rewind and go back five years ago, 2015. Or to 2018 to see Taylor again with my mom. And not have, have care in the world or worry in the world. Pre-pandemic and everything too. Wish I could do that though, I really do. But I think we all have feelings like that sometimes. Or we could just rewind. I can't be the only one. And if I am, like always, then it's fine. You know, like on, I posted on my fence the other day, like... Always moved by my damn self. You know, a picture of me in Chicago. There was like two other groups of people behind me. And, um, how do I do this without like showing their faces and shit? Maybe I'll just like blur with their face. But like, I don't even remember who took this picture of me either, so don't ask. But like, I've always just been by myself in life, you know? I never had much friends. And this really, picture really showcases that. Um, the other, girl, other girls are facing the back, but, like, you guys can see it, you know? Like, I've always just been by myself. Just, like, standing there in Chicago. And I had roommates, too, but Lord knows where the fuck they were. One of them can go, because I think he got, like, suspended or in trouble or something. I can't remember, but... Even this was, like, it was just yesterday. I remember walking through Shred's Aquarium and buying myself shit at the gift shop. <laughs> just by myself, though. So another picture. This was when I was in therapy. I don't even remember why. Laura knows why, but here's another picture. Like, hold on to my therapist dogs. I think it was Dee Dee and Dexter were their names. But I've just always wanted to make it himself. <sighs> I don't know. Why is it so hard to find love though or like have love find me? I don't get it. I don't know. And even like I miss my grandpa a lot too. with this truck or this car I used to have not truck I think I we took this from his garage after he passed away even my grandma and grandma's like old house so like it was such like 50s like vibes and I miss it so much but she moved but I do I miss it so much wish I could go back to that house because I wouldn't in an instant wouldn't even question I kind of want to I've thought about buying it back like, the thought has occur went through my mind. <laughs> Lord knows how many times. But, like, getting older, like, when I actually save and actually, like, start working. Like, I really want to buy that house back. <laughs> Have it be just me. Even all the neighbors. Like, I remember the neighbors moving out. I remember the neighbor across my street from my grandma. You know, she's kind of like me. She didn't have much friends. She was always, you know, like, alone. And, you know, like, did everything her own way. And I really admire people like that. I really fucking do. Because everyone's like, my boyfriend comes back to me and my boyfriend's this. Or, my, or everyone's like, think you're a crush. And I'm like, I don't have a crush. I remember what I, when I used to. I don't even have a crush anymore, y'all. Like, I think I'm just getting lonely in that aspect. Like, I, I and I don't know. It goes back and forth. I love being by my damn self. Like, believe me, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do anything. I want to do things my own way. Like, my mom's literally like, um, at night when she goes to bed, she's like, don't wash your clothes over here. And I'm like, when I get older, like, I hope my boyfriend doesn't want me to do that. Because I'm like, you're going if you do. Like... But, like, if it's just going to be me, I don't have to worry about that shit. Like, it's so like such a relief. I don't have to worry about that shit if it's just going to be me. Which, at the thing, at the at this rate, if it, things keep going the way they are, I'm probably going to be single my whole life. Um, I have days where I'm fine with that and days where I'm not. But more days than not, I feel not okay with it. But if it, it, it just says what it is, you know, you got to keep going. I'm not going to be a fucking pussy, you know, pussy fit around it. I'm, I'm going to keep moving like I always have been. I've always done, but I don't know. Like, even yesterday on the way from home or wherever we went, obviously I'm not going to say, but 
my aunt was like, you used to be such a bitch. And I, I, I was like, I was such a bitch. I didn't like anybody in my family. I obviously love them now. Like they're the best, but you know, I hated everyone. I really just love my grandma, my family, my mom. That's really all I cared about and love. But now I see a lot of everyone, you know, growing up, you realize the more you grow up, the more you realize. So I say I love them. Um, and nothing even happened. They didn't do anything either. Or we didn't like, we, or we like would argue over stupid shit, but like now like we're cool. And like, I love them, obviously. I wouldn't train them for the world, obviously, but I really have a good family. So I can take that. That's, I got lucky with that aspect because not a lot of people have that. It's sad, but I don't know. You can be, you can have your own chosen family. You know, my mom tried the best she could. My dad, he could have done more, but what can you do, you know? Um, but yeah. I don't know. It's just so quiet. in this house, now that like, literally all my family's like either moved out or they're like not home right now. I don't know, I'm gonna have to get used to this though. <laughs> when I'm living on my own. <laughs> you know? Like everyone around me pretty much already has their, they're found their significant other. Or they're with someone. Or they think it's their rubber person or temporary person, I don't know, but. I haven't yet. I don't know if I ever will. But that's okay with me. That's okay. So, you guys, I think I'm kind of rambling. <laughs> um, comment, like, and subscribe, follow me on my social media. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you again for watching, guys. I'm not usually PC or quite like this at all. I know I'm using a yelling, ranting bitch, but sometimes I just need to calm it down a bit. That's not, how, that's not actually how I am. That's how I want to be. But, like, me yelling and all that shit, that's how I am on here. I don't know. I might even add on to this video. Or I might just post it straight out like this. I don't know. Because um, I... Yeah, I don't know, guys. Just, like, this time last year. Or not last year, but... Well, I don't know. I remember really, really remember last year. But, you know, just freshman year of high school. Always, you know, it just always feels nostalgic to me. Especially this time. I was really struggling. I just remember watching Tina all the time. And, you know... I mean, I would listen to Taylor T back in the day, but I wouldn't, like, I'm not obsessed with her as I am now, but I would listen to her. Like, out of the, out of the woods, welcome to New York, et cetera, et cetera, but, I don't know. Oh, no. Um. I don't know. I want my brother's older room, and even my old room. I just taking all this nostalgic, and... And it brings me back every time. It takes me back every time. Never in a million years did I ever think I'd be not depressed, but lonely, have little to no friends. It would be in a pandemic. The 2016 trap won't happen to me. I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. Life goes on. Gotta keep fucking going. Can't sit around and feel sorry for my damn self. Cause even though no one else does, I still did. <laughs> That's for damn sure. But yeah, guys, I am gonna end it here. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.